here with the nominated David Allen Greer and Elizabeth A. Davis. Congratulations to the both of you. David, we talked back in the fall about Porgy and Bess when you were up at Cambridge. I mean, talk to me about this journey of finally getting to Broadway and, you know, being nominated for Best Featured Actor in a Musical. It's, it's very emotional today. I mean, we've been doing the play for over a year now, and um, it seems like yesterday. I mean, and to receive so many nominations, it feels so great. It's not the end of the journey, but such a relief. And to be here now, we were just talking. We both had two o'clock. We both had to get up in the morning, do our run through. So now it's fun. I can't start drinking heavily until after the performance. Say it with me. After the performance. I love that. Yeah, yeah that's something you have to say, that how the Tonys are unique. No other uh, award show do the performers have to work and, and do their show that more that day. And then it's true. Come and you do don't see the Oscars people doing intense acting scenes from right. movies. No, they right. just watch them. Right. But it's fun. I've never performed before. Have you? Mm -hmm. uh, no, I, I certainly haven't. This, this is my debut, and, and I'm just having the time of my life. It was incredible to be here this morning and to get to see all the casts, yeah. seeing each other and just cheering each other on and, and to just have such a sense of community with each other. It's wonderful. I love it. And David, this is your third nomination, if I'm not mistaken. I mean, does this ever get old, this whole experience? It's funny. One of the younger cast members are going, you're excited I'm like, yeah, if I weren't excited, I shouldn't be here. You should be excited, too. You know? Oh, it's fun. It's wonderful. You, you meaning us, all of us, we work so hard. And especially on musicals, there's no shortcut. Most of us have done workshops, out-of-town productions, finally get to Broadway. So it's at least a year. Now, a year's not that long. I mean... And so when he finally did get this nomination, we've been working a long time, you yeah. know, so it means a lot. And uh, Elizabeth, your show also once had a long journey to Broadway. I, I read an interesting tidbit about something you're doing, because in, in your cast, you're not only performing, but also playing the music. And the violin you're using is actually a very special violin that belonged to your grandmother? Well, she, she purchased well, she gave the instrument. She gave yes. it to you. Um, I started playing violin when I was three, and so when I started lessons, she started saving so that when I was old enough to have a full-size instrument, she could purchase one for me. And so when I was 12, she saved from three to 12 so that she could purchase a, a full-size instrument for me. So I have that instrument with me every night on stage, and it has been with me since I've been 12 years old. So it's, it's wonderful to have such a wonderful piece of history with me um, on stage every night. So yeah, it's wonderful. Amazing. Well, maybe it will bring you good luck tonight, right? That would be, that would be fantastic. <laughs> there you go. We're going to throw to our colleagues Patrick and Roma down at the other end of the carpet. Hey, guys.